Good late Sunday evening. It is June 4th, 2017. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking back in after our fair deal of scattered rain and thunderstorms for most of this weekend, even though we start a brand new work week for your Monday. Monday is a day, though, we start to trend drier, and we'll be looking pretty dry overall for the coming work week ahead of us, and maybe a little bit of summer heat trying to sneak back in before we get to the end of the coming weekend. We'll get to those details in time. Let's just get to the Skywatch Storm Tracker, though. In fact, I'll even hide the webcam temporarily for you here. We just had a good scattering of rain and thunderstorms starting Saturday afternoon and continuing on and off throughout the morning and even going into this afternoon and evening so far. For some of you, though, there were some pockets of heavier rain that snuck in. So for some spots, according to the radar estimates, some of you got a good soaking. with Some random mouse topping out between one and two inches in parts of southeast Kansas, northeast Oklahoma, and southwestern Missouri. As a whole, our area averaged out to about half an inch to about six-tenths of an inch of rain. Again, if you weren't a fan of the weekend rains, we do look to trend drier over the next several days. All we need to do for tonight, though, and going into tomorrow morning, is just get this one last batch of rain and even a random thunder or two out of here. You see this area I'm circling. That is our last batch of rain that's going to try to stick around for the overnight, but once we hit the morning commute, I imagine most of you will start out mostly cloudy, but mainly on the dry side. As far as 7th and range line is concerned, as we before we pop up the almanac, the camera's a little out of focus here, but it was keeping an eye on the skies for today and for much of this weekend. It was just seeing nothing but rain, even some random lightning bolts as well. 69 for a low, 80 for our afternoon high today. That's an 80 degree high despite all the clouds and the on and off rain and some thunderstorms that we saw throughout the day. Latest tally from the rain bucket almost has us as an inch, at an inch of rain before we hit the midnight hour. So we definitely got a good deal of rain uh, for this weekend at the very least. And I imagine many of you wants to uh, dry out. So we'll look to do just that. Again, though, we just need to get this last batch of rain out of here. And not only that, we'll get the clouds out of here as we go throughout our Monday. The reason for that this, our main upper level low, this was the culprit for our on and off rain and thunderstorms for most of this weekend. Thankfully, the jet stream in the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere is going to grab a hold of this upper level low. As it does, what it's going to do, it's going to drag this upper low, scoot it off to the southeast. As it does, that takes the rain chances with it, and it gets the cloud cover out of here as well. So, as we look at the overall several day period ahead of us, I can't rule out maybe a spot storm or two tomorrow afternoon and maybe back on Saturday. Overall, though, again, I'm not seeing any big systems, so let's just keep things relatively dry. Maybe a quick dip into the 70s for afternoon highs Tuesday and Wednesday. And then overall, we stay warm this week with afternoon highs, maybe pushing near 90 by the time we get to the end of the coming weekend. As far as the forecast for tonight is concerned, we look pretty good overall, at least nothing in the way of severe weather. Still some showers out there, maybe a random thunderstorm, otherwise mostly cloudy, with lows near 66. Going into the afternoon tomorrow, partly sunny to start, maybe mostly sunny for some of you before we hit sunset. Again, I can't rule out a spot thunderstorm, otherwise we'll have a pretty warm day with afternoon highs near 85. Quick look at tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. As is quiet, mostly clear, maybe a little bit on the chilly side with lows planning on dropping back to 61. Over the next several days, Tuesday's looking great. Mostly sunny with highs near 81. 76 Wednesday, 79 Thursday, both days staying dry with partly sunny skies. Back to 82 on Friday. Other than the stray storm Saturday, the next weekend's looking dry overall. Upper 80s on Saturday, and we'll see if we can hit 90 degrees by next Sunday. Have a good night, and have a great Monday, everybody.